Hello and welcome to World Business Report. I'm Philip Hampshire. Banking giant Barclays has announced the resignation of its chairman, Marcus Aegis. In a statement, he says, a devastating blow to the bank's reputation from the revelation it had tried to rig interest rates is the reason. As chairman, he says, I am the ultimate guardian of the bank's reputation. Accordingly, the buck stops with me. I'm joined now by Chris Roebuck from Cass Business School to discuss the matter. Chris, thank you for joining me. So the first question I've got to ask is, is this the last scalp we're going to see at Barclays? This might be the last scalp at Barclays, but it's probably not going to be the last scalp we see. The issue is that the fog is not clearing on this one. The fog is getting thicker all the time because this is not just a UK issue. We now have, we know that Citibank is being investigated, UBS is being investigated, Deutsche Bank is being investigated, JP Morgan's being investigated. So this is spreading throughout the world. So it's not just a British problem. And I think it will take a number of weeks, if not months, for all the uh, unfortunate detail to come to the surface. Well, that's exactly it. Uh, the regulators have said they're looking at as many as 20 yep. different institutions. Yep. So is this a systemic problem? What does this mean for banks overall? Uh, what this means for banks overall is that somewhere around the financial crisis, it got into the banking system in some way, shape or form that it was OK to manipulate the rates for the benefit of your bank. And what then happened was that once one person had stepped over the line or one bank had stepped over the line, everybody else thought it was fair game. So effectively, it, is, it has become systemic. And what we need to do is we need to get the leadership of the banks going back to basics and saying, look, we need to deal ethically with this. Everybody in this bank needs to understand what is right and what is wrong. And doing this sort of stuff is wrong. And if you do it, minimum, you'll be sacked. In the current situation, the man in the street might mm -hmm. be looking at, uh, at this story and saying, well, LIBOR, that's not an interest rate I'm familiar with. I'm familiar with my mortgage. I'm yep. familiar with what I get in my bank account. So does it really affect the man on the street or is it merely, if you like, banks ripping off other banks? To some degree, if we look at the, the technicalities of it and the fact that it was 14 banks putting all their figures together and then there being an average and all the rest of it, the impact of the, on the man in the street was almost negligible. To some degree, it's the classic case of bankers ripping off other bankers or, as we've seen from some of the other scandals, bankers saying, look, if I'm dealing with bankers, they're fair game, but I'll be nice to the public. Now, the question is whether or not that is ethical or not ethical. If the other party you're dealing with just happens to be a banker, I don't think that means you should be unethical. They just happen to be another banker. Chris, thank you very much thank for you. joining me.